Okay guys, we're back on. So we've practiced all sequence of numbers. Single, double, triple, even quadruple. Okay? So we can try this one. Okay, ready? 9182. Come up. Four strokes. Yes. So that's a quadruple. <laughs> if, if you didn't know. 1982. 9182. Oh, 91. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, I didn't. Pay attention. No, I didn't. <laughs> Come out. Get it. Four strokes. Four strokes. Okay. So now we're going to practice times and dates. Okay. So one o'clock, you can do one K at the same time. So K on the final side. One K. Does it come up? 2K? Guys, it's one stroke. Is it coming up? No? Mm -hmm. Well, there's another way that I do it anyway. So the way that I do time, if they're talking about time, is I do like one, and then I do time with the asterisk. One time. Got it. With well, the after. And and there's a stroke, and if you if you um, define it correctly in your stroke, it will come up one colon zero zero. So you only have to do time one time in your dictionary, and then it should come up. I don't understand. Do one. Yeah. Time with the colon. Time with the, the asterisk. Word. Time. T long I A O E I M. Time. Did we not learn time yet? <laughs> time with the asterisk. So it's one stroke. Did time like the herb. Did time like what? The herb. Time. Time. <laughs> Do time. Do time. And then time? Yeah, it's okay. one and then time. So it's two strokes. And it's time with the asterisk. Yeah. So if you want to do it that way, if not, when you when you put one K would be one o'clock though. It should be Yeah. It should no. It's gonna be one. One colon zero zero, which is a clock, but it's different if they say, Well, what time did you go? Oh, we went at one. Well, that's not one o'clock. One o uh, apostrophe c l o c k. That's not it. When they say one o'clock, that's different than when they say one. What time did you go? Oh, we went at one. Are you sure it was one? Well, maybe it was two o'clock. You see how those are different? But it kind of means the same. One colon zero zero that I learned in, in high school or grade school or whatever, then it also means a clock. Colon zero zero also means a clock. So when you, whenever you're writing in the English, you never put it like this. Because I was always taught that this is one o'clock o'clock. So you never write it like that. The way that I do it, when they say one o'clock, just to keep it consecutive with the word, is I write the word. So I write the word one o'clock. 
rather than this. They also say that this is correct. I don't know. One. One o'clock. Not one colon zero zero. It's just one o'clock. I don't know. I mean, you know, I guess you do it however you want, but. Um, you know, what we're learning right now is just numbers. We're not learning the software. Okay? So if you want to do the time, 1K, 2K, 3K for 1 colon, 0, 0, do it that way. I'm just teaching you the numbers on how to do it. Okay? I do it one time. Two time. Three time. Time with the asterisk. Because time is going to come up, T-I-M-E, if I just type time. But time with the asterisk is a command in uh, Eclipse that tells it, change it to this. Without the asterisk this time. Huh? Without the asterisk this time. It changes it to the time? The real, what you're referring to, not time. No, no, no. Time. She's talking about time as the word. Yes. I'm talking about time as a command. So what it's going to do is you're going to type one time with the asterisk, and it's going to know to put it together as one colon zero zero. Okay. Now I'm going to show you how to do that on one person's computer. Okay. And you see if you like it. You want to do it? Sure. Do time with the asterisk. T. Well, not not yet. I. M with the asterisk. Should do it. So now do the D car. Two time with the asterisk. Okay, we're going to go off for just a second. I'm going to check something real quick on the time.